misconception two. How many of you all feel this is true? I cannot get a call since I have low marks in tenth and twelfth. Okay, live example in front of you. Let me give my profile to you. Class ten, all subjects taken into consideration eighty four. Class twelve, all subjects taken into consideration eighty point five. Under graduation sixty four. This is me in front of you. Hi. Not a bright student in ten and twelve. I did not enjoy anything other than mathematics, English, and Hindi. I hated physics, chemistry, bio. This is my profile. You want to know the colleges I converted? I am Ahmedabad. I am Calcutta. I am Lucknow. FMS. Basically, all below this. After that, MDI and so on and so forth. So I am here. Profile does not matter that much. So look at Mohammad Ijaz. I have the same kind of profile as you. Ten, thirty-two, twelve, thirty-seven. Yours is better than mine. Why won't it come? I got it. Why can't you get it? the difference is i knew that because my marks were slightly low i needed a high percentile i ended up scoring a 99.97 percentile in cat a 99.97 percentile in cat which is why i got these calls so what i'm trying to get into you all and what i'm trying to explain to you all is this does not matter it is inconsequential in fact i'm going to go ahead and give you examples i'm going to go ahead and give you examples of of our students this year Who's ten and twelve are in seventies, in seventies, and they are still going to go into IIM. So wait for two minutes. Now, I had a year lag as well. I had a year lag. I finished my under graduation in two thousand ten. I wrote CAT in two thousand eleven. So I have everything. All of y'all who are worried about your profile, my profile is like that. Yeah, they go tenth come, twelfth come, undergrads come. I had a break as well. I had a gap as well, and I still can. I am from ICSC, guys. I am from ICSC. Those who are wondering, I am from Lamartine and Calcutta, ICSC and ISC. so those of you saying icsc is difficult i am from there so don't worry yaar tension nahi lene ka hai you don't need to worry about all of those things let me get deeper into what are the predominant things that are looked at for you to get a call in order to get into the top colleges of the country what are the parameters looked at cat score marks in 10 12th under graduation work experience if you have any academic diversity engineer non engineer gender male female and eventually category all of you all thinking I need upskilling courses. I want to do Python and digital marketing and Google AdWords. No college looks at that. It is inconsequential. All of you all thinking I will volunteer. You know I will volunteer some Hope Foundation or something like that. Inconsequential. Nobody looks at that. Profile is only this. There is nothing else in profile. Upskilling courses will not help you get into a college. Upskilling courses will help you grow in your work life. so that you keep rising up the ladder not to get into a top b school not to get placed from there so do not worry about all of that okay what if you are from non engineering courses great i am non engineering mathematics honors you don't need anything non engineering matlab your life is made anybody who is a non engineer here you get marks for academic diversity so just to give you context imagine the same profile of an engineer and a non engineer imagine 10 at 90 12 at 90 under graduation at 70 an engineer to get a call from i am abc will need a 99.6 plus a non engineer to get a call from one of i am abc will need a 99 percentile non engineers is something that i ams and the top b schools love clear if you get gold medal in ug will that be considered no so let me give you context imagine virat kohli gives cat next year he will not get any other additional marks than somebody who has never played cricket and has scored 60 in 12 and 60 in or uh, 10 and 70 in class in under graduation virat kohli and you will have the same profile because the only thing that will be looked at is this it does not matter that he is the captain of the indian cricket team he will get no brownie points for that is that clear samajh aaya yep king kohli okay the last part gender diversity again let me explain if you are a male now think of male and female male with same profile say 90 in 10 90 in 12 under graduation 80 Say to get a call from the top three B school, a male needs ninety nine point six, a female will need ninety eight point five, because females will be given some additional points for being females because there is need for gender diversity in colleges. Colleges want more and more females because companies want more and more females. Is that clear? Cool. What if no work experience? No big deal. No work experience in front of you as well. Work experience just has about two to three points. That's it. Okay, let's focus. Let's quickly move on. Now, this is what I want you to look at: parameter for final selection. Now, there are two stages. Two stages. Stage one is to get a call. Stage two is final selection. When it comes to final selection, that means the GDPI round. Look at the weightage given to class ten, twelve, and under graduation, zero to ten. Work experience zero to five. 
academic 0 to 3, gender 0 to 3. Predominantly, it is these two things, which is why even if your profile is not that great, if you get a call, a brilliant interview VAT and GD will ensure that you crack the exam. Some of you are stating if you're a fresher, is there any problem? No problem at all. In fact, if you're a fresher, colleges want you because almost every company wants a fresher other than Genman companies. Genman companies like ABG, TAS and so on and so forth, they want people with a little bit of work experience. Marketing is desperate for freshers. Consulting wants freshers. Most of the firms out there want freshers. For the other B schools, like for example, IFT, Symbiosis, Nasi Munji and so on and so forth, if you look at it, predominant weightage once again is here. CAT, ZAT, IFT score or NMAT score, SNAP score, so on and so forth and performance in interview VAT GD. This is what I wanted to show you. These are profiles of actual students of this year of ours. Look at this. Class 10, 75. Class 12, 74. Undergraduation, 62. CAT scored 97.5 has converted these colleges. So all of you all worrying that my 10, 12 undergraduation is not good. I hope this is giving you confidence. This student converted CAP, which is under CAP, you have IM, Ranchi, Raipur, Kashipur, Tiruchilla, Palli, and so on and so forth. CAP is basically a common admission uh, test, common admission process. You basically have close to about eight to nine colleges that have one interview and all of them accept you on the basis of that one interview process. Okay. Another profile, very, very similar. Look at this, Aman Singh, 60.8, 60.4, undergraduation, 63. Three years work ex, CAT 95.83, once again, got colleges. So all I'm trying to state is, if your profile is poor, you feel my 10 is 55, my 12 is only 60, and so on and so forth. Get high scores. Try to focus high on CAT. Get 96 plus on CAT. Aim for that. Some of you are asking about category, let me help you. Imagine, basis your profile and everything else. Say you can get an IM Lucknow. Let me take Lucknow as a call. Say a general category student gets an IM Lucknow call at 96, hypothetically. An OBC student, this is for category, can get a similar call at say about 88. An SC student can get a similar call at 78. An ST student can get a similar call at 70 percentile. EWS would get it at 90. Okay. And if you are PD, the physically disabled category, you will generally get a call at say about 80 to 85. So that is it. Now, I do not consider this fair or unfair. I'll tell you why. For me, unfair is after I start doing something, you change the game. Say you told me that in order to do well in this exam, I need to score 70. Then one month before the exam, I tell you, no, 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 I'm changing the game. You don't need 70, you need 90. That is unfair. But if at the beginning of your preparation, you already know, this is your profile, this is your category, this is what you have to score. I don't consider that unfair. That is how I look at it. This is my profile. I knew that in order to get an IM Ahmedabad call, I needed a 99.95 percentile. I did not consider it unfair. I considered it a challenge and I scored 99.97. So it is about how you look at things. If I am in your shoes, I will say unfair. Why unfair? You knew it from day one. Tomorrow in the World Cup final, if you have to chase 400, you will say unfair. No, you knew it before the game. You knew it before your batting inning started. You have to chase that. So that is what it is. So that is why I keep stating cat exam for me is like a chase. You know already what you need. Prepare accordingly. Strategize accordingly. Aim accordingly. Nothing is unfair. It's a challenge. Is that clear? Uh, please speak something about sectional cutoff. Aim to get 80 percentile plus in every section. You will clear the sectional cutoff for every IM. Okay? Clear. Let's quickly move to misconception 3.